guys. Big Wiz is about to teach you how to use VEO3 free and unlimited. And that isn't a clickbait. Big Wiz will take you through now. You heard her right. I know it sounds impossible. Getting access to a model as powerful as VO3 without hitting a paywall or running out of credits usually is a dream. But today, I'm showing you a completely free Google experimental platform that changes everything. It gives us direct access to the VO3 engine, allowing you to generate unlimited, high-quality AI videos without spending a single cent. No wait lists, no expensive subscriptions, just you and your creativity. Real quick, if you want to stay ahead of the AI curve, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Drop a comment below if you're excited to try this and share this video with a friend before everyone finds out about this method. Welcome. The first thing we are going to do today is create our very own AI app. Yes, you heard that right. First of all, I'm going to open ChatGPT. I have a specific prompt prepared that I'm going to give to ChatGPT to help design the app concept. This prompt will generate the instructions we need to build the app. I'll go ahead and copy the prompt. By the way, all the prompts I'm using in this particular video can be found in the description or the comment section below. Now I'll return to ChatGPT, paste the prompt here, and hit send. This will generate the structural details for our application. With that done, I will copy the generated response. Next, open a new tab and search for Google Opal. This is the platform we will be using. Go ahead and open the first link. This is the site we are going to use to generate our AI video app utilizing Google's Veo3 technology. The first requirement is to log in. I'll click on Sign In here and continue with my Google account. Once the sign-in is successful, you will land on the dashboard. As you can see, this platform allows you to build, edit, and share mini AI apps using natural language. Currently, this platform is in experimental mode, which I guess is why it is free to use. If you scroll down, you'll see the app gallery. These are tools already created by others, like a blog post writer, city builder, spelling bee, video marketer, and many more. However, we are going to generate our own. I'll come back up here and click on this Create New button. This is where the magic happens. This is where we develop our app using the prompt that ChatGPT provided us. Remember that text I copied earlier? I'll go ahead and paste it right here into the input field. Once the prompt is pasted, simply hit the Send arrow. As you can see, the app has been created instantly. It actually ignored the title I gave it and named itself VideoCraft, but we can change that later. Now, I'm going to start creating content with this new app. I'll begin by describing the scene. I've already written a short story, so I will copy that and paste the scene description here. I can also upload a reference image. I'll select this photo and click Done to upload it. The app asks for the desired duration. I'll type in 10 seconds. For the frame rate, I'll go for 30 frames per second. For the aspect ratio, since this is for YouTube, we'll stick with the standard 16 by 9. For the video style, I want something 3D, so I'll select cinematic or 3D cartoon. You can also choose background music or sound effects. I'll go ahead and upload a background music track here. One great thing about this tool is that you have plenty of time to customize everything. If you look at the workflow on the left, you can see every step we've taken so far, from the background audio to the transitions. Speaking of transitions, I'll select Mix or Crossfade. Now I'll hit Send and let it process. It is now thinking and generating the video. The video is done. Let's take a look. I'll play it now.
As you can see, the video has visual movement and background music. But there is an issue. The character isn't speaking. She didn't make any sound and her lips didn't move. That is because in our initial prompt, we did not tell the app to include a dialogue feature. We can fix this easily. We can suggest an edit right here in the chat. I'm going to type add a dialogue to the app where characters can speak or lip sync to text prompt and then hit enter. And just like that, the app has been updated. You can see the new version here. Now let's try creating the video again with this updated feature. I will upload the image again for the video reference. Then I'll enter the video content prompt. She looks into the camera and speaks. Now notice the new step. It asks for dialogue. I will type It looks like I got an error saying, oops, something went wrong. This usually happens if the prompt violates safety policies or if there is a glitch. I'll simply try a different prompt or adjust the text slightly to ensure it complies. Let's try that again. I'll re-upload the image and enter the prompt, she looks into the camera. For the dialogue, I'll keep it simple. This is how it turns out. Let's play it. Hello, guys. This is how to use Google's Opal using VO3 technology. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.